I just wanted to jump on here and give you a quick tutorial on how Edpuzzle works and what you should be doing. So I made the announcement last yesterday and a few days before that that you needed to go ahead and get an Edpuzzle login. Very easy to do. Just click on the link that belongs to your class period. So you do need to make sure that you're in the correct period. Click that link and it'll come up to this screen. If you already have an Edpuzzle account, then it'll say, oh, we found it and let you log in. If you don't, then you'll just create an account. You can sign in with Google, or you click the sign up here, and then you could sign in with Google, and it'll open it up, and it'll bring you to the screen. Use your Wake County ID is fine um, to get logged in there. So when you load up, you'll see on the left-hand side your classes. You'll probably have just one class, and it'll be mine, and for whatever period you're in. If you have another teacher that uses Edpuzzle, then their classes will be there as well. So you won't have to worry about having two different places to go. On the home page, I'm going to look at third period. On the home page, the first thing you see is all of your due assignments. They work from what's due first is at the top, what's due last is at the bottom. So you always want to work top to bottom. If you start a video and don't finish, it'll give you this gray bubble here that says it's unfinished. So when you click on it, it will actually pick up where you left off, but I'll show you your to-do list of the questions you need to answer and you can play the video. So you can um, go backwards if you need to go backwards, but it won't let you go past where you haven't watched. You can pause it, you can play it, you can make it full screen. So when it's in full screen, you're still gonna get the video. You see that these dots are where the questions are. When it gets to the question, then you have to answer it before you can move on. You can see I can't even click submit without having answered the question. So you check, check, you check off your correct answer, one, two, none. Well, there's gonna be one at least. If it doesn't say mark all that apply, then you're just gonna pick one. So you can pick one and then click submit. And it'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Then you click continue and it keeps on to the video. You could also have clicked, if you weren't sure, you could have clicked rewatch and it would back it back up. Um, you do want to make sure you're paying attention to the video because the question may tell you maybe something that was just said to you in the video, or it might be something that's coming ahead in the video to check for your understanding. When you're in the video, you can also see when it's due and by what time, as well as the name. Once you've completed a video, then you go to the completed spot and it'll show you everything that you've completed. When you're looking at graded assignments, you do want to make sure that you go back through and see if there were any um, comments that I made. So, for instance, if they're open-ended, I might make a comment back to you about why your answer is wrong or if it's not specific enough. So, for instance, this one wasn't an answer, so I said make sure you type an answer. Well, this one was just not specific enough. Depending on how off it is will depend on if you get the question right or wrong. But you can see that this person, or that I, made a 50 out of 100 on this particular assignment. So you always want to go back and check the, the um, pieces that have been graded for, for comments. This one is in the to be graded spot because there were some answers that needed to be graded. So there's multiple choice, but then there's some open-ended. So the open-ended questions won't get graded until I grade them for you. So that's why you want to make sure you go back to your um, a graded assignments to see if I made any comments for you. When you're looking at those comments, you can comment back to me. So you notice when I showed my results here, I, I made an answer and then I typed back to myself. So you just click comment and say, whoops, and then comment back to me. Okay. So that is that puzzle. It's pretty, pretty easy to use, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. There is a no due date piece. And those are just ones I've added in there when I was learning how this thing worked. So don't worry about doing those yet. You want to focus on the due assignments. All right. If you have any questions, just let me know.